Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Air Benatero. Today we're going to do your general love reading for mid-February. Now keep in mind, because these are general readings, they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So Cancer, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Thanks for the Memories by Fall Out Boy. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. So, I didn't even hear a particular, like, message. I literally seen a chariot, which is major arcana for you guys' sign, like, full speed ahead, like, getting the hell out of wherever they, wherever they were coming from. They're like, I'm out of here. And... I feel like it's a very powerful energy. Like it's an energy of empowerment. Like somebody's like, okay, I've learned this lesson time and time again. Okay, I get it now. I get it and I'm out of here. But I feel like somebody is literally about to be like brewing in their own stew, as you would put it. Like somebody is realizing that they fucked up really bad by losing you. Because I feel like a lot of you guys are out of here. For me to see the chariot, and I mean this chariot was moving so fast that it almost looked like you know how in movies when you see something moving fast and you'll just see the background like moving so fast that you can't see the clear pictures of it? I actually seen stars. Like it was just like galaxies. Like you were just moving so fast that you were going to be galaxies away from this person. In other words, for me, it was a, a message saying that this person won't even be able to reach you when you move away from them. So let's see what we get. This is, this is a powerful energy I'm picking up already for you guys. We'll do the same for your clarifying deck. And I hope everyone's doing well. As always, there are absolutely no reversals. Look at that. A lot of you all are in your Empress energy now. Major Arcana, look what's right here, right before. A lot of Major Arcana energy. A lot of you all are healing. Do you see how this Empress is looking in the direction of the um the Star card? Star card is wish fulfillment and healing. Some of you all could definitely be pregnant right now, but I also feel like more than anything, a lot of you guys are manifesting new changes because pregnancy also talks about manifesting something. And a lot of you all are manifesting this Empress energy for yourself, building. Um, I, I feel like a lot of you all are pulling back, retreating, going within, dealing with your own things. You could not have been speaking to this person for the last four days. I always tell you guys, sword down is no for me. It's swords communication, also the mental. We are currently in Mercury retrograde. Swords is mercurial energy. I feel like some of you guys are not speaking to this person right now, and it is causing this person to panic. I really do feel like that. I feel like a lot of you all have went within and realized that you are this empress, okay? You clarifying that at the very bottom. Yeah, four of pentacles. This person is going to be holding on to you. Some of you all could be dealing with someone with very strong earth sign placements. towards Virgo Capricorn, someone rising Venus. And let's see what's the very last card. I feel like some of you all were dealing with a charmer, okay? You have a page of wands. I feel like this person could either have been younger than you or they were just very immature. But they were a bit of a charmer. And I just heard snake charmer. So if you're dealing with a male figure, I feel like this male figure was had a very good sex game. Like sexually, they were very, um, <laughs> they were very powerful sexually. But I feel like some of you all have awakened from this slumber because I'm hearing slumber. And I, I want to say sexually because if you look at it, he's holding his wand and he's looking at the tip of it. And wands are definitely also very phallic energy as well. So it's like this person, look at him with his little dob hat on, his little peppish outfit. I feel like this person was a bit of a snake charmer. Like sexually, they were very um, convincing, very powerful sexually. And that kind of roped you in or that may have been the glue that had held things together. But I feel like a lot of you all are like, okay, I'm done with this. Let me get in my chair to get the hell up out of here. Okay. So we're going to shuffle the deck upright three times until we get to the chariot. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. Four, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. As we part the deck, yep. Yeah. Seven of Cups. So you had a lot of time to think. Okay, this is thinking right here. Seven of Cups is being in your head. Illusion, delusion, confusion. Um, having options. And I feel like the option, to be quite honest with you, I feel like the option is you. You chose yourself over everything. So let's get the chariot card. Yeah, you were tired of fighting. Some of you guys could definitely have been dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual. I feel like you were tired of fighting. You could have been with this person for five plus years. Over the, fa um, the past five days could have been very difficult. Look at this. Your cards don't even want to go in. Look at that. Won't even go in. <laughs> so that goes back to that four of pentacles energy we just seen. I feel like this person doesn't want to give you up. 
is what I'm getting. The fool card, I'm going to say this again. I feel like a lot of you all are taking a leap of faith and you're getting the hell out of Dodge, okay? If you notice, the fool card is a major arcana for Aries, also Aquarius, but look at where his hand is. Literally pointed right at your symbol, Cancer. I feel like a lot of you all ain't taking shit but your dog and your bag and one bag and you're out of here. Or your child or whoever. It's, it's like you're at a point where you're like, I don't even care. I don't need this furniture. I don't need anything. I'm out of here. I just want something new and it's time for me to go, go for it. Keep in mind, this is Major Arcana, which is a definite energy, which means you guys are out of here. I'm telling you, I feel like a lot of you are like, I'm done with it. I'm done with it is what I'm getting. Hearing that there were major heartbreaks in this situation and you were dealt a final blow is what I'm hearing. So let's get the Major Arcana, the Chariot for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and the Visuals. And we're halfway through the deck and, we don't, and we're just getting it. So I feel like you've been with this person for a while. Yeah, you could have been married to this individual or engaged. Yes, okay, I can't make this up. You go from marriage to single, okay? Four of Wands is marriage, ceremonies, matrimony, long-term commitment to the Nine of Pentacles, single woman, single man, because look at what's right behind it. You felt like this person was being manipulative and sneaky. This person could have strong Virgo or Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus placements, and it's like their manipulation always caused you some type of heartbreak and sorrow and grief is what I'm getting, okay? So for you, Cancer, you have the Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. And if you look at it, you see the Nine of Pentacles is looking right in the direction of Four of Wands. So I feel like if you were not married to this person, you two could have been talking about marriage and long-term commitment. You could have felt like this person was your twin flame because you have that 11, 11 here. That's definitely twin flame energy. Um, life partnership. You could have also felt like this person always put you in third parties where you had to... Um, you know, it was you and another person. And I feel like that's the case also because this is the Nine of Pentacles. But if you see it, she has, she's facing this one, two, three Pentacles. So there could have been an Earth sign involved also in this situation. You could also have strong Earth sign placements in your chart. Let's see what we get for you today. We're going to part the deck so we can shuffle. Yep. And I just said third party. Look at that. Right in front of her. One, two, three. Three Pentacles. You know, also I'm going to say I feel like this person may be trying to fight you to finale and won't let you go because they don't want to have to relinquish any of their finances this makes me think about either matrimony like going to court um because you see there's a contract right here so this could be matrimony like getting married and then for others this could be somebody going to court you know trying to split and i just heard dividends <laughs> trying to split some type of finances but i feel like there's going to be a strong male figure who is fighting like hell to not have to relinquish some type of funds is what i'm getting because the four of pentacles for me is always that holding on for dear life some of you guys are definitely dealing with someone with very strong earth sign placements in their chart okay so let's get clarified for the four of wands you got two fours you had the four of pentacles four of wands look at that Love is card in reverse. I feel like something is falling apart, and this it makes sense why you have this single woman, single man card. I feel like there was a union, and it's, it's separated, yeah. But somebody's hanging in limbo. Somebody's trying to... I really feel like this person is trying to find a way to keep this union together. You got two major icons back to back. Again, more Gemini energy, and then I also Piscean energy with the hangman. This person's trying to find a way to keep you and I, I just heard keep you enthralled. Huh. This person's trying to keep you enthralled is what I'm hearing. Look at that. Again, and you already have that here on the table. But then you have it right next to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They do not want this to end because they don't want to have to shell out any money. Because upright, they're holding on to their funds. In reverse, they're having to shell something out. So I feel like this person is trying to fight like hell. But here's the thing about it. They're not going to win. Because you see how she's surrounded by money, dressed very well, dressed to the goods. She is okay. She's well off. She doesn't need anything. And I don't feel like this person... Okay. So I just got a very clear message. This person could be fighting and prolonging some type of divorce, separation, because they don't want to have to shell out money. So be mindful about what it is that they're saying, because keep in mind, we've just seen also the um, magician. This person could be a bit of a trickster and telling you that they want this to work out. But it's only because they're trying to keep a roof over their head or they're trying to keep their money is what I'm getting. Do you see what I'm saying? Look at that. They don't want you to move on. You see how that was peeking out? They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to move away from this relationship. So let's get clarified for the four of wands for cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, individuals. Yeah. 
Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual. You have the Sun card in reverse. I'm going to say this again, okay? Sun card is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. This person feels as though if you if they lose you, they're going to be losing out on some type of abundance because the sun is also abundant, extremely abundant. Again, one of the most positive cards in the whole entire deck of tarot. So to have it in reverse, it's like this person realizes if there's a separation, there's going to be a loss of abundance is what I'm getting. And I know that's the case because look at how she's surrounded by money. Okay. This person, ooh, okay. This person is fearful of losing money. So you got one, two, three pentacles right here, right? And then right up on the sun where this baby is, there's one, two, three sunflowers. There's four in total, but there's three right next to this baby. So some of you all could have a child with this individual and they are fearful of having to pay you child support. There's some type of financial obligation is what I'm getting with this. And they're fearful of it. Yes. You guys see, I was not shuffling bottom of the deck. They could try to hold on for their life all they want to and reverse these. These pinnacles are going to be your pinnacles. And they are fearful of it, and they know it. That's the thing. Let's get a clarifier for the nine of pentacles. They know, and they're fearful. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> you got the nine of cups, and look what flipped up on the table, and this is exactly how it flipped up. Secrets, okay? Wow. Yeah, look, the world card in reverse. They don't want you to go anywhere. So look at this. I always say right here, behind him, the nine of cups is happiness, wish fulfillment, getting what you want, abundance. But behind this curtain... We don't know what it is. And then also keep in mind, whenever you have the high priestess, that's secrets, okay? Upright, she's holding secrets. She has knowledge that is only for her. Um, she only relinquishes this information when she so sees fit. In reverse, something is coming out, and I feel like that's going to happen during Mercury Retrograde. Keep in mind, Mercury Retrograde ends February 20th. So I feel like this is going to go down before that. And I'm here. Oh, I just heard a shit show. Okay, there's gonna be a bit of a shit show for someone. Um, this person's first, middle, or last initial could be B, T, J, W, C, or U. Um, again, more Piscean energy. So some of you all are definitely dealing with another water sign, strong Piscean energy. There could also be a Gemini involved. You have Roman numeral two, looks just like the Gemini symbol. But in reverse, I'm telling you, some type of secret is coming to. Yep. Look what's at the back. Okay. Some type of, ooh, ooh, okay, look. And you guys see, I was not messing with this. Seven of Swords right next to the High Priestess. Some type of secret is getting exposed, okay? Um, right up under here, you got this Ace of Pentacles again. And then the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So I feel like this person, okay, this, person's hot, this person could be hiding some finances and assets from you is what I'm getting. You see how he's sitting all pompous and arrogant on this bench and he's sitting right in front of this curtain. But what's so interesting is as I'm looking at this, I'm like, this person is about to catch the blues. You see how the color of it is blue? Like this person went out of blues. <laughs> okay. These are two completely different decks, right? Look at this. This curtain right here is blue. Her dress is blue. Like this person is about to catch the blues when everything that they've accumulated is about to become yours. If you are going through some type of divorce settlement, you are about to get paid greatly. You're about to find out that this person has more assets and more finances than they're telling you about. Also, I feel like if you were worried about home or living situation, you're going to be fine because Pentacles also talks about your foundation, your home life. I feel like you're going to be very well off. This person may have to pay your um, expenses for a certain period of time. I just heard 24 months. Huh. I just heard 24 months. And then I also... It, this person is hiding assets. So if you are going through some type of um, separation, especially in regards to a divorce with someone that you lived up under... Make sure your attorney or whoever's representing you really does some digging because they're hiding something and it's going to be yours. Even look at how this drapery looks. It looks like her dress. And these are two completely de different decks. I feel like you're getting ready to get some type of compensation that was hidden from you. Again, look at even her dress is blue. You know what I mean? Like something is hidden and I feel like you're getting ready to receive it. They can hide it as, or try to hide it as much as they want to. Mmm, the sun. Okay, so they're trying to hide something. When the sun is come, when the sun is up, it shines a light on something. In reverse, it would be the opposite. Like they're not, they're trying to dim that light. They don't want you to see something. But I feel like they're if something's getting exposed for sure. That's what I'm getting. Mmm. Okay, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.